First and your last name, please, and My spelling. Name is Jack Christie. Spelling. C H R I S T Y. And you're you're at the high school. You're doing. You're a. I'm a retired police officer with 29 years experience in law enforcement. I teach a entry level class at the high school, mm -hmm. and this class that we that you reviewed today is a CSI class, which is crime scene investigation. Uh, sponsored by Palo Verde uh, Junior College here in Needles. It's a uh, three-hour class a week on Mondays from uh, 12.30 till 3.30. Uh, we go over what evidence is, how to collect evidence, and, and look at some of the myths that the TV show presents and some of the realities that, that, that happen with uh, the uh, TV show. And it looks like you take the students out here to uh, and to, to real scenarios that could you know happen in real life and on the job. And uh, today you're out here in uh, out here uh, near the high school here, um, and there's a scene set up for uh, for the investigative team to go check out. And uh, and how long of planning to set all this up to? Okay, well the class mm -hmm. is. Like I said, it's three hours a week, mm -hmm. about 50, 57 hours, 54 hours. Uh, mm -hmm. Part of that is uh, actually lab classes where they get to do, actually do fingerprints, learn mm -hmm. how to roll fingerprints, how to dust for fingerprints, how to cast tire prints, how to photograph tire prints, and try to get an idea of what is relevant to prove that a crime has occurred. Mm -hmm. So after we went over these uh, um, laboratory experiments then for their final uh, slim out here at uh, active auto mm -hmm. has given us uh, a old uh, motor home which we were able to use and process as a crime scene Wow! and so based on what people give me I set the crime scene up from base what I have and so I, I reviewed the uh, motorhome with uh, Slim and the guys, looked at what simple evidence I have available to me and what would be relevant to what they've been taught and what they can uh, try to process. I'm not actually looking for a 100% uh, Class A fingerprint retrieval or tire print. It's the idea that they've been exposed to the uh, uh, to, to the, the actual activity and their attempt at it. And as long as they follow the pro process and the procedures, then practice makes perfect. And that's what I'm hoping for is them to develop an interest in law enforcement. Now, you said that before there's a lot, is there a lot of myths from the TV show that are there that does it actually what happens in the real world in, in um, crime scene investigation? And what are some of the myths that are broken? Well, if you watch CSI, Grissom and the guys out there run the crime scene. Mm -hmm. The crime scene is actually ran by the detective. And the, the, the uh, crime scene detect, uh, technicians are just there as a tool for the detectives. You see Grissom and, and uh, what is it, the guy that's doing it now, Dan, uh, Tom, what is it, what is his name? Well, the new guy on CSI. They run, they run the show. Well, in reality, Brass would be running the show. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked to judges and, and prosecuting attorneys, and they find that the, the uh, they're having trouble convincing the juries that when they don't have the big bling, you know, the CSI bling, mm -hmm. the jurors are put off by, well, where's the DNA? Where's where's this? Where's that? You know, in the show, one of the myths is mm -hmm. they'll line up 23 guys and they'll do DNA and 14 minutes later they tell you who the DNA belongs to. To do a real DNA check takes 72 hours if you hit your markers. Okay, so you're going to get DNA testing back in two to three weeks, not 23 minutes. Interesting. And uh, how many students have signed up for this cl for the class this year? I think we had 12 this year. And a lot of them. Um, what's the response for, from a lot of the students that are they taking this class? They seem to enjoy it with with being able to do hands-on, the hands-on portion of it. It's not just lecture and theory. It's actual try it and see how it works. You know, it. it Fingerprints, people 
think that you're going to find fingerprints at every crime scene and they're going to be able to tell you who the suspect is. Well, if the suspect's not in the database, then you're not going to find out who the suspect is, even though you have good fingerprints. So we have to build a database and that's what they're doing now with DNA. We've built in databases for years with fingerprints and the, the myths the TV's having and, and mm -hmm. the, the attorneys are having and the judges are, they don't have this big 3D color photo to, to show the jury. It's just eyewitnesses and, and, and fingerprints. So. Um. And I noticed that they're very, very dedicated to the, you know, the students are, are very focused on the work. They're looking, at, they're looking at every little thing to make sure that they solve this, solve a, the crime scene. What's out there, and it, and it looks like they're, they look like they're the next future out there for. The Some of them are, are, have told me they have interest in, in law enforcement. Some have interest in, in, into the crime scene investigation themselves. Some of the students do, and. Uh, that's one problem I think we're going to have here in Needles is they want to do and try to do more classes mm. by uh, distant learning and they just don't have the immediate supervision and the immediate guidance with hands-on and I think the hands-on is how you learn. I learn that way is hands-on, not from reading a book and, and not trying it and if somebody's not standing over your shoulder telling you to do a little heavier with the right hand or move the left hand this way, it's hard to do it, to correct it. Um, is this class coming for next semester? No, it's not. It, 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 they're offered every two or three years depending on the... Uh, they try to rotate the classes through because mm. you have a small core, probably 15, that are interested in law enforcement. So if they offer the same class semester after semester, you, you got to wait till a new group comes in. You know, probably every three or four years when the students start getting a little bit older and try to go into uh, a, uh, a location. And uh, about what? So the next one would be in two years, correct? Probably a year or two years. Okay. Yeah, of uh, this uh, reoffering of this class. Okay. And it sounds like this class is a is a very important class uh, to learn a lot of the stuff that that's not that you only see, you don't see in the real in the, you don't you don't see it in the the TV show you see you have to see it for real the real stuff that's right you see yeah. how long it takes yeah. to do it uh, and the hard work and then the atmosphere being out here especially with the heat here you have to be out in the right we we spent well. You, t you take CSI, they solved two, two crimes in 48 minutes. We've been out here today uh, an hour and 45 minutes, and we've yet to break down the crime scene completely and process the minute evidence that we've collected. So it's we not as fast as what they say it is on TV. Right. Yeah. They, and if you if you listen to the, the producers and the and the actors, and, and I've li watched their interviews at the end of uh, the CSI shows, and they'll tell you that a lot of it is just time restraints that they don't have with, with, with theatrical uh, presentations where they shorten things up and they make things look a little bit better. So uh, for those who are interested, in joining the class for next the, in the next this next sem the next semester or the next they need semester. to contact Palo Verde Community College there on mm -hmm. uh, on Broadway there at uh, what is it uh, E Street and Broadway mm -hmm. in the old Claypools building. Do you know what the phone number is? I do not. And uh, just basically contact them and or go online. Do they have an online site? They have an online, paloverde.ed, isn't it? EDU. Paloverde.ed? EDU. E e EDU. 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 Like education. Okay. EDU. All right. And um, any for, for any of those who are wa watching, who are wanting to join, would you any or want want to get out there and follow the dream? If they, if they, if they contact the college, I'm sure the college would offer a course if they've got eight to ten students who show interest in a class, then they will offer the class. They told me. And uh, and any words of wisdom or courage to Don't for those Don't leave any rock unturned. Un 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 there we go. Perfect. Thank you very.